I think Turquoise Skull, you should be able to convert that sun into an extra brain for yourself. Okay, well he passed. I don't know what this guy's doing, but he's not going to be doing much in a second. Let's draw. If he has nothing to do when he has five sun, he's certainly not going to have anything to do when he has three sun. I mean, let's be real, guys. What's going on, everybody? This is Fry. So today I'm going to show you one of the most creative creations uh, in PvZ Heroes. This is uh, Tryhard's Sun Bandits. Tryhard, of course, uh, fellow streamer and YouTuber. He made this monstrosity that somehow, some way, actually works. So let me explain how the deck um, actually wins games. You're going to be controlling the early game with Gladiator and Protect. For Escape Through Time is going to make your cards not be able to be hurt that turn. Gladiator absorbs damage from everywhere in the field so this will be a good way of stalling against aggro decks uh, but the main way you're actually going to be controlling the early game is by weed spraying and by using hand uh, knockout uh, a really important combo in this deck is going to be playing cryo brain on turn two and then on turn three uh, playing turquoise skull zombie if you can pull that off and actually get those two cards um, in your hands early You'll be able to play this on turn three, so you'll end up with a four, two, six that's growing, but this is also going to be stealing sun from them every single turn. Uh, meaning when you play, for example, so then on turn four, you play this on turn three. On turn four, they're only going to be making three brains. On turn five, you're actually going to have six brains because the cryo brain again gives you an extra brain every single turn. So turn five. They're going to have four brains because of the turquoise skull, and then they're going to be down to two when you play Raw Zombie. So you're playing Raw Zombie, and they have two brains to try to deal with it. Uh, and it's just going to keep on uh, going from there. You're able to stall in the late game also with your Undying Pharaoh. Uh, you can play this draw. You can also teleport it in, which can save you. All this is stalling for uh, two different ways of winning. One is to play Mechasaur. You can also teleport in Mechasaur. Uh, in case they, you know, you don't want to play this and then just get removed. Uh, this will be putting uh, guys all around the field. And uh, basically, if you can get a couple of minions spawning from your mechas, or you basically always win. It's so much value. Uh, the other way of winning is actually by leaping your Ra Zombie. This already got a lot of value. It's a six cost card. Uh, if you play Evolutionary Leap on it, it'll turn to a seven cost card, then an eight, and then a Zombot. Uh, those are going to be the two ways of winning. Every once in a while, you can do that onto an Undying Pharaoh. Uh, if you're not in any position of dying. The escape through times can be used also to stall and protect your undying pharaoh. Because again, if they can't uh, damage this, they can't win the game. Uh, plenty of card draw in this deck. Let's see how this deck performs. This is very fun. It works very weirdly. Um, but this is a really fun deck. Definitely wanted to show you guys this. Uh, so we're going to play eight games. The games are going to go pretty slow because again, this is look like a late game meme kind of stall deck. Um, so we're going to go for, you know what I'm going to do? Again, I've really changed the 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 ante here uh, in terms of, uh, there's been a lot of really competitive decks. I'm going to make the bets 4 out of 8. I'd say that this is, no disrespect to Sun Bandits, but I would say, you know, if you play this against me in the tournament and beat me with it, <laughs> then I'll uh, consider this to be a top tier competitive deck. I'm going to be happy with 4 out of 8, since this is just... A really fun idea and I don't want to set the bar too high so if you think that this deck will go four out of eight but yes three out of eight is gonna be a no over here at the live stream twitch.tv forward slash from up and if the deck performs well it will be doing five six seven games out of eight as well uh, so we're gonna do that again it's just something I found that there's been more snipers that's definitely true oh, I need a mulligan very badly Full Mulligan did not get either our Cryo Brain or our Turquoise Skull. But, uh, you know, that's just for the best. There's the Turquoise. We don't really have anything to do this turn. Uh, fortunately, did not end up against, like, Haunted Pumpkin and, like, really aggressive start. We did not end up with a Gladiator, really, anything to control. We see a Captain Cucumber, we'll Weed Spray, otherwise, we just draw on cards. Uh, we're also up against a hero that has no trick move before. We're gonna be doing multiple Turquoise Skulls the next two turns, probably. So, this is gonna be <laughs> really harsh. I'll play the first one on Heights, why not, just so it doesn't get Lawnmowered next turn. 
Tryhard's calling the eight and zero, no doubt. So Tryhard's voting yes. Tryhard, you haven't you haven't bet the fries yet, though. You gotta if you're you gotta put your money where your mouth is. <laughs> so now what do we do? I'm pretty sure we do take this trade here. We can leap like this turquoise skull perhaps later. Yeah, the opponent's down to four, and they're gonna be down. They're gonna be back on four next turn unless they can kill this, and they do. A really unfortunate, but Chumpsilla has a superpower that, if the first card you play costs four, that is how that is gonna go. Let's see if he has any other kind of buff. What would the buff be for one cost from Chumpsilla? Nothing much. So good shape. We actually have triple leap to a seven cost card. Uh, is it worth it? <laughs> I think I kind of want to triple leap to Zombot next turn. I'm pretty sure I just spam this here. I think I spam Undying Pharaoh like on heights. We're playing around again, Lawnmower. Yep, so you can see I have a different background. So I'm visiting family in the US, so the setup's a little different. Microphone might sound a little different. The lighting, obviously. Things are not exactly the same, but I think I got a pretty good setup here. Um to entertain you guys even while I'm traveling. Come on. Is that is that too like obsessive, work obsessive of me? Am I too am I a workaholic that I feel like I have to stream while I'm visiting my family in the, in the states? Uh, we actually just have leap until Zombot here unless he can remove this somehow. Otherwise, we'll just flick and we'll you know, we'll do other things. Uh yeah, I think we got it, guys. <laughs> well, so let's hope we can get Plankwalker. There's Wannabe Hero. Here's this. We got the Plankwalker, so we're gonna end up with a full board. Do I even want a Zombot here? I don't even need to Zombot, to be honest. I don't think I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna wait till next turn. I think for now, I'm just gonna like flick. We don't even need... Because Zombot, it kills two little guys. It's way better to do that next turn. Uh, this Gondola is going to go crazy, too. The Gondola gets insane value. If it goes to lane four, it's going to actually be making an entire full board. So there's just the heal superpower. So this is going really, really well so far. Come on, go lane four. Yes! Okay, so we got Warlord, so everything's growing. La, 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 la. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> And it's going to make another guy. It's actually going to do now 12 damage. The opponent should be down to 3 health. Go 5. Go 5. Go 5. God damn it. Okay. Okay. Well, guard throwing. <laughs> wow. Is that... Are those like the best gondola shots I've ever seen? Holy moly with that. Give this man a cuke. It doesn't matter. Zombot's guaranteed in lane 1 anyway. No! Don't! That's my Zombot, you fiend. Wow. Lame. Absolutely lame. How do we uh, kill this guy this turn? Is the real question. Teleport Mechazor, I guess. Guys, you know what? I'm pissed off. I'm doing it, guys. Teleport Raw Zombie. Screw this guy. It's called BM Value. <laughs> it's called BM Value. He killed my Zombot. I'm mad, okay? Teleport Raw Zombie. Of all the things we could have done, I could have done Mechasaur. I could have done a lot of better things than that. I don't care. I don't care. I will BM this guy until he shuts up. He doesn't have anything I can kill a 7 7 here, right? His Holoflora and he used Heal. He used his Chomzilla. So he has Holoflora and Scorch. Great. Congratulations. You're dead. Man thinks he's going to get away with killing my Zomba. All right. So we absolutely, dom <laughs> absolutely dominated that first game. Let's go. That gondola went nuts. It made Warlord Garg throwing Garg. You kidding me, man? The entire board is just legendary. Exactly. Exactly. See, this is why Sun Bandits is the real best deck in the game. Like, for real. Setting the bar way too high. Uh, so let's see if we can get a Cryo Brain. I 
think I'm gonna ditch one of these. Oh boy. <laughs> we have no early game. Am I supposed to mulligan this? I don't know if this is gonna be good against Solar Flare. Uh, against Raptors, I guess it's okay. And we got this in case he pumpkins or apple saucers early. That's fine. Okay, it's just mushrooming. Bruh. Give this man a weed spray. Easy. <laughs> oh, we got the cryo brain, guys. We have the combo. We have the combo. If he's going for po why is okay, so he spam button shrooms. You know what? I think I take back what I said about the meta being stronger and people just playing sweaty decks. Why is he playing more spore on one and doing nothing on turn two? Like at least if you have buff shroom, at least you're doing something, man. But no. This guy decided to more spore pass. That's what's up with this guy. Okay, and pass turn three, too. And now he's still on turn three. Maybe he's going for Pine Clone, but he's most certainly not going to get it here. <laughs> oh my gosh, we have the Raw Zombie, too. We have the whole thing set up here, guys. This is insane. This is crazy. Yep. Yeah, he probably is going for Pine Clone, and he just can't do it. No! Don't hammer. You're lame. Uh, I'm going to go for this. I mean, I could always just, uh, should I just get rid of one of these? Alright, let's just get rid of one of these. I could draw cards, too. Actually, he can't Pine Clone anyway. Because I'm gonna definitely play Raw Zombie here. Screw it, I'm drawing cards. I don't need to control anything. La la la. <laughs> Guys, okay, this is how it goes. This is how it goes. We get free superpowers. We're just, yep, okay, I'll take that. It's fine. We're back up to 20. So he's at 5. He thinks he's gonna Pine Clone, but he can go screw himself is what he can do. Okay, so here's, here's Raw Zombie. La 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 la. Okay, back down to three. Yep. <laughs> He's still waiting though. The man is still waiting. You know what? I, I'm, I'm gonna let him Pine Clone. I'm just gonna say screw it. I'm gonna go for Mechasaur. Maybe I'll do it here in case he has Ice Spore. I'm just gonna do it here. And uh, we'll we'll use like either Nerf or Rock Wall or something. Does he have the Pine Clone? No, he has Cuke. Okay. God damn it. <laughs> okay. So we got Cuked. I think we're still doing pretty good here. We're making nine every turn. That's crazy. Uh, we got a leap. So that's awesome. Should I just Raw Zombie leap here? I think it's good. Pretty damn good. He hammers that one. He really deal with the other one. Do we leap here or just draw cards? You know what? It's not proccing the block. We'll leap maybe next turn. Oh, here's this. We'll play this on heights for sure. For real. So we don't have a teleport, but we do have you, and then we'll have like leap and nerf to spawn more cards on this field. Let's see if he has another removal card here. Obviously, Colonel Corn won't do anything. Yeah, Colonel Corn <laughs> really does not get it done here. Uh, so we are going to. Uh, we're gonna nerf this. Nerf this. And maybe we'll leap to get another card. There's that. I also could just like, I think just teleport and rock wall is the play. Look at this board though, guys. <laughs> this board is freaking crazy. Can we draw one more card? Oh, does this make lethal? It's usually lethal. But if he California rolls, then we're kind of screwed in this game. Not really. All right, let's just go for lethal. Screw it. It's 12 damage, guys. It's as simple as that. Uh, yeah, we're all to one. We're good. <laughs> Got him. All right, well, 2-0. 2-0 oh. <laughs> oh with this deck. 2 and 0. Yay. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, that corn did not get it done. I just still don't understand the more spore early. I still don't get it. 
<laughs> Didn't seem to have a pine clone. So we got this. We're really looking for turquoise skull zombie. Only two of those. Turquoise? We have leap. Plenty of leap. All right, let's see, here's a little bit more of an aggressive deck. Uh, we're just gonna cry over in here. Not much else we can do. This is a really rough start. I would like to see like a flicker of weed spray on the top deck here. Unfortunately, we are not doing great in this game. My god. We have no big removal. Zero. So we're going to be relying on Undying Pharaoh very heavily here. My god. Dear god. Here's this. Should I just spend this? I don't know if I'm even going to... I mean, we're taking like 10 here. Just so he doesn't plant food us to death next turn, literally, I'm going to spend it. Also, just so we can use our brains more efficiently. Yeah, we're a little bricked. Um, we could really use, like, Undying Pharaoh, I think. <laughs> we have five brains. We can't even play him yet. It's Raw Zombie. Um, um, yeah. So I guess we teleport and hope for a miracle. And <laughs> start to click B. Guys, we're not in great shape. Not in amazing shape. We'll spend it one teleport. Oh, so we are we spending a second teleport? Ah, <laughs> this is gonna lead us to victory. Do we die this turn though? Ah, uh, yeah, usually. So do I have to try to teleport and get a gladiator? Well, this can happen, you know, guys. This can, uh, there's no rocket scientists in this deck. And we can California roll. No, we can't. No, we definitely can't. All right, two and one. Let's. We don't talk about that game. <laughs> we break pretty hard. That could happen to any deck, though, guys. I mean, you know, any deck can break. We just didn't get uh, anything useful ever, really. Oh well, well the 8 and 0 dream is is gone, but you know what? We can still settle for the 4-4 dream. Come on, guys. How many people voted for the 4-4 by the way? Is that disrespectful to this deck to me? Only 55% of you voted for 4 and 4 for this deck as well, so. It's actually a 55-40. I made the bets even. 50% win rate and the bets are about 50% as well. So, so yeah. Can we get Cryobrain? Did we play against this guy like two games ago? I'm just making sure. It ain't the same guy. I don't know if I... I think I, I hold this though. I think it's an important enough part of the deck here. Do I play this just like next turn because of Haunted Pumpkin? I think so. Wait, what? Wait, what? No. Not working. Sorry, I'm just uh, troubleshooting some stream things, but I'll be right back with you guys. What is going on here? Gosh. That's the problem. 
Okay, we're good, guys. Uh, so I'm gonna go after this, and again, anything he puts, like a wild berry, for example, will just get nerfed here. Um, by the Rust Bowl Super. Really happy to see Rust Bowl Super here. We've got many, um, very difficult, you know, no grave removal, many, uh, turquoise skull zombies coming up. So that'll be awesome. Yeah, this guy's slow playing. They get the guy who's slow playing right when I need to fix something. Okay, I think everything's working now. I think we're good. Not really sure. What did he do? He bear He oh he used like like solar flare super. I'm like, why does that have only two health now? I'm very confused. Okay, that doesn't do anything. <laughs> this does zero. And then this does zero as well. You're dead. Thank you. So we'll either draw cards or nerf. I think I'll save the teleport. <sighs> what is this guy doing? He's waiting for the stream delay to set up. Why is he taking so long? Uh huh. Astro Shroom, get rags. <laughs> wow. I feel like I'm just gonna nerf here. Yeah, screw this. We definitely need to keep the gladiator alive. So we'll just be hitting him with this. Drawing a card? Let's go. Didn't you do this deck like twice already? Uh, I did it once. And, uh, didn't end up being a YouTube worthy stream, so. Oh no, does that go strike through and kill it? I'm so sad. It's okay. Rawr. Take out the Astrochim. We're at 19 health against kind of like an aggro deck, and now we're going to be stealing his brains. So. Obviously, it's called Sun Bandits because you steal brains with Turquoise Skull and with Raw Zombie. Yeah. I didn't explain that in the intro, but it's kind of self explanatory. La 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 la. Lovely. Here we go. Oh, you think I'm sniping him? <laughs> That's what I'm looking. Yeah. Oh, everyone knows this is Noresco, the famous PVZ hero streamer. I, I gotta open the stream and see what his cards are. That's that's what I'm. That's clearly what I'm up to. I actually have had the um, the urge to like stream snipe like try hard. <laughs> So I, I, I get the feeling, you know? Wow, he just passed turn 5. So he had nothing to do on turn 5, and now he's back on turn 5. I think the turquoise goal is an absolute success. Let's just take this out. Look at the raw zombie next turn. He's going to be down. He'll be down next turn to, to 3. It's going to be incredible. Incredible. Wait a second. Oh yeah, he's Solar Flared Super. He's, he's actually one sun ahead every turn, too. So he's going to be way the heck behind. Did I say steel brains? I meant steel sun. You guys know what I'm saying. I'm going to nitpick everything I say. How would you do brain bandits? How would that even make sense? I think Turquoise Skull, you should be able to convert that sun into an extra brain for yourself. Okay, well, he passed. I don't know what this guy's doing, but he's not going to be doing much in a second. This raw. If he has nothing to do when he has five sun, he's certainly not going to have anything to do when he has three sun. I mean, let's be real, guys. <laughs> I almost don't even need to because he, has, he passed two times on five sun. I don't even need to do anything. I'm gonna leap the raw zombie next turn, that'll be awesome. <sighs> uh -huh. 
Okay, well, that's what he did with this. <laughs> On turn six, <laughs> that's what he did. Congratulations. So now it's turn seven. He's making eight. Actually, he's making six. We're in pretty darn good shape here. I think I'm going to leap the raw zombie, because, again, it'll make a seven drop. Really good value. Yeah, he's got nothing to do. He's just got nothing to do. Wee, there's that. <laughs> Should we make a bigger one? Yeah, why not? Come on, Plankwalker! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Uh, yeah, pretty good day at the office. Um, I feel like this is the card that he's going to want to remove. Well, he already used his super and Weed Whack would kill it anyway. I think I'm going to just draw cards and hope to find a leap. Okay, goodbye. Not a one bite the dust. Not a one bite the dust. Another one gone. <laughs> Another one gone. Sex dominating. This is how the Sun Bandit do. That's all I'm trying to say. Yeah, we definitely have to find Brain Bandits. That would be a good deck. Nope, it doesn't exist. There's no cards that steal brains. Deck needs going viral. <laughs> Leaps are so much better, though. <laughs> Guys, we have the combo. It's Big Papa John. Big Papa John. Should I look for a little bit more early game here? Or am I just sat here? Maybe I'll look for a raw zombie. I don't need two weed sprays. Alright, this is fine. We have an answer to everything. Except for big cards. Except for good decks. <laughs> we have an answer to everything. I really hope we could just get our Rust Bolt Super. Uh, that's not Rust Bolt Super. Please, just please don't play aggro. Please no Haunted Pumpkin, and we're fine. Like, Ty, fine. Yes, easy. Everyone passes turn one. Do, do, do. We have the combo in hand. Another. <laughs> oh, Brain Anna, you're right. You steal brains. Why did I think there's no way to steal brains? Isn't there another way too? Well, forget me nuts kind of steals brains. Sort of. You're right though. Well, it's turn three and we're playing Turquoise Skull. And we have Raw Zombie in hand, so we should be good to go here. Guys, I don't know why I forgot about my boy Brainana. Maybe because I wanted to. Because <laughs> Brainana's not a. I mean, it's a great card, but it's not a fair card. It's not a good. That's not a good card to be in PvZ Heroes, to be perfectly honest. It's so toxic. What is he doing? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> he's trying to kill it. It's still not working. Okay, great. Congratulations. Should I weed spray this just to spite him? Oh, man. Why does he have Puff Shroom? I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna... Well, I'll use the... <laughs> I'm gonna do this just to, just to say the screw you. I don't care. Do, do, do. Another one bites us. <laughs> now it's back down to two. Do, 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 do. Another one gone. <laughs> Bye, son. See you. Toodles. No, he has another puff shroom. Uh, I wonder if he has pine clone here. We can deal with like pine clones, I guess, with flick. But that's about it. We need a leap, is what we need. We got card draw. Maybe we'll draw into a leap. We're a little bricked here, but we can unbrick. Yeah, we're gonna get pine clone pretty badly here. I can f I can smell the pine clone. No! What is your <laughs> Well, it's Weed Spray now. Um, it's definitely Weed Spray. Might as well draw cards first and see what we get. Oh my gosh. Wait, I, I need to leap this, though. I mean, we can just Raw Zombie leap next turn, right? Yeah, let's just Weed Spray. Wait, what turn was this? Shut up and take my money. Okay, it's let's just Weed Spray. It's a card, but not a fair <laughs> card. Now you know how I feel about dragon, except that I hate dragon. 
La 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 la. So it's raw zombie leap. You, this like, is lovely. Like red and an today. <laughs> red? Does my skin look red? Guys, I asked you before the stream started if the lighting looked okay. And if there's a problem, it's on you. Okay, so raw zombie leap. <laughs> Giddy up, cowboy. And we have another leap. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we're just gonna leap that. I don't even need Gladiator. So he has eight sun and a mushroom deck. <laughs> and we have a weed spray. We're gonna be fine. Yeah, the lanes of those mushrooms were all messed up, by the way. You always want your punish rooms to be on the right and then your mushrooms on the left. Bro, don't do that. Wow, lame. Lame. Teleport Gladiator, just to spite him. Nah, we'll save the teleport. So we'll go Ra Zombie Leap, I guess. Dun, dun, dun. Another one, but just, I might need to weed spray here. But if I leap, I'm not weed spraying anywhere. Alright, screw. Play that guy. So we either leap or weed spray. Oh, this was supposed to proc the block. I should have put it here. Whoops. Whoopsie doodle. Okay, there's another puff shroom. Oh, he's finally got some pine clones. And we're actually gonna go face <laughs> to proc the block, so we take those. We take those. No! <laughs> you rolled a one. You're completely useless, Gladiator. You had one job, Gladiator. One job! So he is running Pine Clone now. I'm happy to see this guy actually has Pine Clone. You know what? That's making me happy. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. <sighs> Is he just gonna bite the dust? Do 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 do. Well, the answer is yes already, but we're we're going for that for that seven out of eight. Come on, guys. This this stream has already been a, an amazing success. It doesn't even matter what happens on this point. This is already going on YouTube. Now it's just extra credit time, guys. Do do. Some bandits got three interview right here. Very cool. Very cool in the Indeedy. Wow, we have more. Uh yes, we have the L combo. Should I spam this on one? Because why not? I think so. I think so. Just in case he's running a bunch of galactic garbage. Yeah, see? Hold your soap. Dude, dude, dude. This really prevents a lot of damage coming in. Okay, cast Iron. Magnolia. Who is gifting five subs. Really appreciate it. Four subs. Same thing. Definitely cry over Oh, the answer is yes. I was waiting for the for the delay and then I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Yeah, so hopefully he doesn't have much uh brain removal here. Not a one bites dust. Yeah, we're just not even gonna deal with this. We'll hopefully get Undying Pharaoh and that'll be it. Here's the first three damage we're taking as well. So that's awesome. Yummy! So he's down to three and he'll be down to three next turn unless he can deal. We have like the rock wall, which is really good to protect these guys. 
Rawr. We don't have the rock wall at all. <laughs> Come on. Well, they both live. We'll rock wall next year. Yeah, we're taking a lot of damage. We really need Undying Pharaoh against uh, Triceratops. We just said, I mean, we have Chop Superpower, but that's not coming anytime soon. Ah, uh, what am I supposed to do here? Do I just do this? We're taking so much damage. But he's down to one. I think it's worth it, right? I don't know how we're going to win this game. I need to keep this alive. I can't even chump block. I need to keep this alive so we can leap our way to victory somehow. He's down to one sun, but he has got a 6-7 monster on the board. I probably, maybe I should have fronted this so we don't die. But I don't know. We just don't have a field then. We need a leap miracle. It's the only way to win. We need a top deck a second leap here. And get Plank Walker, and we need a lot of other good things to happen. <laughs> because right now, this game is not not going well. Maybe like a Gladiator in lane one would be really good. No. Got nothing. Freaking zero. <laughs> Like, which, I don't know, heal, uh, I don't know. I think leap into leap is basically our only shot here. There's that. Can we somehow survive here, please? Teleport into Gladiator. Well, actually, like, well, this doesn't even, well, uh, uh. What do we do? I have to play the teleport into Gladiator, and there's no choice in the matter. No, we lose. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> four and two. We're doing pretty well here. <laughs> We're going to end up four and four. I don't really like the idea of this. Maybe I should make my own version of this someday. I don't like having no removal. I know there's four Undying Pharaohs, but there's actually three Undying Pharaohs. There isn't even four in this list, so... If you don't get one, and the opponent plays one Triceratops, you lose. What would I change about this deck? You know what? This is Try Hard Sun Bandits. I'm gonna make Fry Him Up Sun Bandits. The Cryo Brain into the Turquoise is what works, you know? I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to reprioritize here. I feel like rockets have been more useful than flicking weed spray though. Majorly. So that's the first thing. I think there's just too much card draw. I don't know. I, I probably would get rid of all the card draw and stuff. All the uh I haven't even seen Escape Through Time, by the way. Where's that? That's another way to stall. Looking for cryo brain. Maybe weed spray will be good against spam rose. Weed Spray typically does not even kill Triceratops. If they draw one card the next turn, it's beyond Weed Spray. So, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, we'll just play this into aggro. Let's see what happens. Triceratops, yeah. It's, I mean, it's not a fun card at all. Uh, so, Weed Spray's a thing. Yes, I suppose. Uh, unfortunately, we're just going to see an Astrocado or a Burb of Paradise or something like that. Hopefully something choppable so we can at least chop it next turn. Then, okay, well, <laughs> it's called Ramp to Nothing, guys. The new meta, okay? Ramp zero. <laughs> if you're running Twin Sunflower, you have to run at least eight cards that cost five. At least. But no. This guy decided to ramp to... To play Twin Sunflower, one of the highest, like, you know, big risk, big reward cards, and then there's just no upside. Zero. Freaking zero. Wow, did not go to fly or mog the Turquoise Skull. Really surprised to see that. So we have Flick now against turn four. Hopefully we just see, like, a Wingnut or something. Now he mogs. 
Why would you... Why not mog that last turn, though? Here's the real question. Okay, we'll save teleport. We'll save, save, save teleport for raw zombie, guys. Very important. It doesn't seem like the opponent really has anything that costs less than six. You know they had nothing when they had five sun, right? So it's probably just a bunch of cob cannons. So we're going to be delaying these cob cannons many, many turns here. Even better fry. Here's to many more great years of PVZ heroes. Thank content. you. Cheers. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. That was, uh, again, a Cast Iron Magnolia donating five. Thank you for your kind words. Really appreciate the donations, guys. It makes the difference between me having nothing at the end of the month and having something for real. I just use the donations to pay my editors, but I'm being perfectly honest. That is how we do it in Ohio. Uh, one of these, I guess. We have teleport undying, I guess. If he ends up with an Asterisk Auto that he tapped like the last few turns, we can chop it. So that's awesome. Ram versus Sunbands. So I know, right? This is just like the the showdown. Does this look better when it's less yellow? Maybe this has to be more white. If my face looks red, is that better? Oh my god, that's hurting my soul. No, it was better before. Alright, is that okay? Maybe that's better. Oh, it's still too glary. Too much glare. My poor eyes. What the hell is going on here? What on God's green earth is going? I, I just don't... I think we're just going to get dragoned and stuff. That probably happens anyway. We'll do this and we'll chop the cop cannon. How about that? How about that move? He definitely has something that costs six, right? Has to be. Okay, never mind. It's just running garbage. We're going to just play Cryo Brain. Everything's going to be okay. You know what we need? We need leaps. That is what we need. We've got a bunch of brains. We gotta do something with it. It's probably just gonna be... It's almost for sure gonna be dragon this turn. But we can chop the dragon. It's gonna be lovely. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, it's chop the dragon for sure. Chop the magic dragon. Chop the... Oh... No, I don't care. You know what? Oh, now we got some leaps. Oh, now we got something going. Oh, look at this. Look at this play. Rodeo. Yes. So this is just going to go like here, I think. Maybe I should have put it here. Just proc the block and then... Can weed whack them. He already weed whacked them. It's either go to five mog or freeze. No, it's not gonna. I mean, freeze, I guess. Was mog used already? Mog was used. So go to five and freeze or enhance. Did was freeze used? Now I'm confused. We need more leaps. Oh, it's cornucopia. That's cute. That's like a Dara ball. Yeah, I still don't kill my undying pharaoh. Get wrecked. But it's in the box, so I can stand on mountains. What's in the box? We need some leaps. We'll teleport this in next turn. So I think we are going to... Well, we want an, ex an empty lane. I think I'm going to protect this. We'll see what we get. And then flick the muscle sprout, maybe? I don't even need... We win the trade with the muscle sprout. I'm just going to save the flick. Screw it. Let's just get extra brains for next turn. That's protected. So we got teleport. Mechasaur next turn. That's awesome. I'm waiting for him. 
He's got snake, but <laughs> it's not in the right lane. So, teleport. Play doesn't bring Nana here. <laughs> so we have 13. A 13 brain Nana. This came from Escape Through Time. Maybe I should have saved Escape Through Time to get the Mondo Bronto. A play will top deck something with some card draw here. You're that. That's harsh. Catch up. Let's see if we can get some card draw. Yes, leap. So I guess I leap the Pharaoh now, right? So the Pharaoh will be a seven cost card. Hopefully it's like a nurse, you know? Wannabe hero is fine. But yeah, we get the Mondo Bronto, so that's awesome. Um, this, di this dies and we get a replacement. Maybe we should just get rid of the heal. I'll probably be able to find a better flick later. You know, let's just say it's our only trick in hand right now. So this goes face for a six. It still is like a six. Six, amazing. We're down to five. No block meter, but he doesn't have any real prospects of proccing our block anytime soon. Pretty good. Pretty darn good. I think we got this game. Yes, escape through time. We'll take it. Kite flyer. More dino roars. We'll take those too. Another cornucopia, just for fun. <laughs> no, not great zucchini. No, that's like the one thing that wins him the game is the great zucchini. Cornucopia would not have done it. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness gracious! Oh my goodness gracious! Dear Lord Almighty, shake my bacon and call me a biscuit. <laughs> no. Uh, it's just Toxic Rose. I don't think Ra Zombie does anything at this point when the opponent's making like 14 sun. <laughs> Look at the cards though, too. <laughs> what am I going to do? Dur what am I going to do? I like tie Diamond now and I'm going to do. So we have 7 4 is 11. Then we'll be able to protect, I guess. This is so sad. Oh, I should have Gladiator protected. Yeah, that would have been smart. No, don't go to Fi. Well, I'm not going to protect it anymore. Wow, lame. Uh, I think we lose. Uh, I think we lose. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, pretty sure we lose. Yeah, the sweet spray don't do a damn thing. Chop it doesn't do anything though. All right. I thought we had this game. What the great zucchini literally is the only card that makes him win, and he had it. So. All right, we're four and three. <laughs> Guys, we're in a 4 and 3 scenario. Can we take more than 50% with Sun Bandits? <laughs> I, I want to win this game. I really want to win this one. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, the Great Jukini. I know, Rockets would be so good. I'm going to make my own version, man. I don't think Undying Pharaoh is right for this deck at all. I think you got to have Rockets. There's going to be some other things, too. What would be a good card to leap? I don't know, I'll figure it out. Maybe like a five-cost card, like a Warlord, just to be able to, you know, the, the, the Raw Zombies actually end up better. Just to have a cutoff between four and five, I, I feel like, you know. We're going to give this, uh, this deck the fry -em up the fry him up treatment. Here's another solar flare. We end up with no early game. A little bit of ramp. A little bit of love. I I legit am gonna make my own my own version of this deck though. For real. For real this time. Is the Mechasaur oh, I'll see about the Mechasaur. We'll see. I'm going to spam this teleport because we really, really badly need... What the f... Well, we need a weed spray as well. I'm going to spam both teleports. Screw this. 
See if we can... Why is he just spamming these mushrooms? It doesn't make sense, bro. It doesn't make sense. There's the card we needed. <laughs> it's gonna absorb his entire life. This will take... <laughs> we'll be taking no damage for the next very many turns. Congratulations. Yeah, no. So it's turn three now. Top tech weed spray. Okay, we're just gonna play this. And we're gonna rock wall it. That is how this game is going. <laughs> he doesn't like it, and I don't care. Do I look like I care? Do I look like a dude who cares? Dude. Who's from Gravity Falls is my hero. He's my life inspiration. I hope I can be more like him someday. Dude. Maybe just, uh... This doesn't die here. I think we just turquoise. There's no point in, in spamming more gladiators and stuff. Should I make him not able to make a play next turn? Hell yeah. I'd rather this take extra damage. And him just not able to make any plays ever. <laughs> Yay, Gladiator number one is dead. Trust me, there is more where that came from. Believe you me. So this will actually take one damage, which is awesome. <laughs> He's doing... We're still on 16 health. We're doing just great here. He still cannot make a play. He can't. This is the real some bandits. Okay, so we give him one of these. And we'll probably just protect this here. Do, 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 do. If he very blessed this one, then we'll. Uh, you're late. La la la. La la la. La la la. Oh, Camel Cross. Yeah, I'll spam Camel Cross. Why not? Why the hell now? I just want this to be like Beyond Berry Blast Range. Clank. Clank. We're doing pretty well because he's only got two cards. <laughs> <laughs> We're still at 16 health. I don't know what this guy doing. I don't even know what this guy doing. You know what? Maybe he's going for some kind of Gloom Shroom combo, and I don't care. That is what we doing. We're going to teleport Megasaur, I think, on eight. Really don't want to get squashed here. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I have a really nice setup. I wasn't so sure if I was even going to stream this week. But uh, I'll be streaming as normal. I shouldn't actually even miss any stream. I'm going home like, I'm going home on like Thursday, so I'll be able to st I'll be able to stream every single day. La la la. I think we just leap this turn. And if he kills the 3 2, we'll teleport Undying Pharaoh. Maybe not. Uh, so we'll draw some cards. I know you can draw cards after the mech We'll get some more card drops. See? See, I told you. I told you. Hello, nurse. <laughs> Hello, Plankwalker. <laughs> How you doing? Or Octo Zombie. I don't even care at this point. Yeah, I don't care. We Octo! So that's infinite eight cost cards now. Yeah, Clank. <laughs> the gladiator is still doing so much. He doing God's work. Hopefully he doesn't kill my uh Yeah, that's fine. Hopefully he doesn't hit exactly the turquoise skull. That's totally okay. Still has five health left. Uh eat another one. So we're gonna teleport Mechasaur here. Guys, I think we got this game. We freaking love you, Fry. Thanks, Frieza. You're so sweet. Such sweet. Yeah, it's guaranteed lethal. But what fun would that be? But <laughs> what fun? What fun would going for guaranteed lethal in lane four? That's not, that's not fun. We, we need Mechasaur. It's not even fun. <laughs> okay, listen, guys. Let me tell you something about life. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Here, we'll give it one shot. If our Jesus wants us to win, we'll win. Okay. <laughs> that was way cooler. That was way cooler. All right, guys. Five and three. Uh, absolutely astounding success.
Sun Bandits. I'm gonna remake this deck. It's not gonna have Undying Pharaoh. I, I take it to the bank. It's not gonna have Undying Pharaoh. But I'm gonna maybe work work on this a little bit. Because this is a really, really fun, extremely fun concept, and we just die really miserably to a lot of things. So I think I'm gonna like make the early game a little different, and then and then make the like. But I I like the 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 Cryo Brain, the Raz Zombies, and the Turquoise Skull. That is the heart and soul of this deck, and it's genius. Love it. I will see you guys in the next one. That was an amazing stream. Of course, that's going on YouTube. Uh, really cool deck. Shout out to Tryhard for inventing this. See you in the next one. Peace. This is Pry.